guys, it is five in the morning. I am so tired. So, uh, get the train into better today. Get there about five, half five. Get there about half eleven. And then chill out for the day. Then go over to Casadovo. Uh, something like that. <laughs> Which is in Serbia. And then the next, then the next day after that, I'll be getting the train to Belgrade. Then hopefully Skopje. Something like that. And then to Athens. And then hopefully, or Greece. Hopefully from there. Won't be too bad. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. I'll get on this train. Let's, let's hopefully it goes well. Peace. Made it to Drebetta, true new sovereign, something like that. Basically in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it feels like it as well. Uh, so I've just came outside and booked the hotel right next to the train station. It doesn't look like a hotel. The front door's not even there, they're building it now, I can see them. <laughs> the bad news is, the, fucking, the bloody bus station's like 40 minute walk from here. So I was going to go check it out and see what that's going to be like, but check-ins at 12, so I'm going to wait like 10-15 minutes and have a wander back down. Uh, and then I'll wander and get some coffee somewhere, go to the bus station, see, see how I can get to Belgrade. Or at least this Ladovo place. But it is... It, it, it's quite nice to be honest, looks alright so far. I've seen this YouTuber who cycled from London to Istanbul and he said he, this is all over Central Europe so, or Eastern Europe so I'll give it a try but I'd, I'd give it a try it's the only thing I could see Mmm, that paste will do teasing I'll finish this off right, I'm going to head to the bus station Right guys, I got the bus station before. The woman spoke, spoke no English, and I obviously speak no Romanian. And I was like, I got sold at the place I want to go, uh, either Belgrade or Kladovo, or whatever it is. So now they don't come there. Yeah, I presume that's what she said. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know. I was, what I do? She pointed down this way, and I was like, oh, no, there's no, nothing down here. There's a super shopping mart, and that's it. Um, so I'm not too sure what freaking hell I'm gonna do. So I'm going to have a walk back, I'm going to go see this, um, there's a couple of things in Drobeta that I would like to see. Uh, there's like an old Roman bridge that's no longer standing but there's like the ruins of it so I'll go see that. Go see like, there's like, like a fortress and things like that. I'll go do that now because obviously sitting around isn't going to help. Uh, and I'm just going to enjoy this place because I'm going to spend the night here anyway and then think about what I'm going to do later tonight. Alright, I found this place to see if I can get coffee and see if it's spoke English because it's a hotel. Said there's basically no way to cross the border because it's not something to do, especially with the pandemic. Obviously, it's harder, so I'm not too sure what the plan is. Because even going to Tamir or whatever it is, you still need to get a taxi across. So I'm gonna have to really rethink what the hell I'm gonna do. I, mean, I realize I itch my beard a lot in these videos as well. It's because I'm wearing that mask all the time, it gets itchy, so that's why I've not got nicks. Google, Google's stuck me the brownest way. Told me to go down this street, it looked like a part of slum. I swear to God, I was like, fucking hell, someone gets stabbed here. Loads of fucking glass bottles smashed over it. Asked me to cross a train track, I was like, oh, fucking hell. So I crossed the train track, and now I'm here. Yeah, Google. Thank you, right? I don't know where the fuck you took me. Louis took me trespassing through some like smack fucking fields. There was loads of sewer, it stunk, right? And there was loads of like, um, Homeless people, like homemade shelters, I was like, fuck. 
<laughs> Where are you talking? I'm still in the house. Well, at least it's a path now. Sketchy. I think you're meant to see. You're meant to see the, the bridge from the viewing point in the in the museum. You know, I'm meant to walk behind the museum across the train tracks and then see it from like what barbed wire. Never mind, eh? So I'll check it, I'll show you this room. Never nice. I thought it was a single bed, but double bed. Or well, just one pillow, so that's how it's a single room. Got the bathroom, shower, sink, whatever, another. Little TV, air conditioning if it was warm. Ready? Right, guess how much this cost? Are you guessed yet? 80 Romanian Lev, which is about £14. It's LMI, I think, but I think it's a bit cheaper than that. But yeah, actually, not probably about 14. But yeah, so ne next to nothing, private bedroom. Obviously, I came this way because I thought, obviously, when I was talking to Alex from uh, Bucharest, we found obviously you can go get a flexi bus from Gladova or something like that across the across the border. But the problem is that I'm here and I can't get across the border. Uh, so the plan might be I might have to go back to Budapest, so basically in a big loop, uh, and then go down to. Belgrade from there. I'm looking, looking good, looking big. <laughs> Got two layers on because it is cold. I'm about to go in the centre. guys good morning what a lovely wet day it is so I just checked out my room it's like a 20 minute walk to the nearest shop to get some food because I'm on the I'm on the train to Budapest now so I'm gonna be in Budapest from at 8 o'clock at night to get there so I'll get on at half 11 it's got about an hour and 45 minutes I was hoping to find somewhere for breakfast but I didn't, didn't think it's gonna happen quite a small place I don't think anything's open until later but I'm gonna walk in the center again and have a look just sitting down at a bench just went to the shop. It's the only sandwich I had. Tripe sandwich. It's my first tripe sandwich I've ever had. I don't know where this music's playing from. I think it's in the park. That's pretty cool, eh? Not too sure where it's coming from. Where else do you get that in the world, eh? But it's pretty cool. Drebetta True News Severin. Definitely worth a visit. <laughs> 